I'm going to take these glasses off because it's got a little glare going on, man. You ain't going to be able to see my eyes. And this is going to be a very, very important video because my nigga, I'm finna cook. I got the white hat on today. I'm, I'm finna cook in this video, guys. No intro today, man. We finna hop straight into it, man. Day 86. Now, topic of this video, bro. Why is everything in this world so sexualized? Why does everything have to be so sexual? Y'all, believe it or not, this is one of the reasons why I'm retaining my semen. This is one of the reasons why I'm, a, I'm, I'm just trying to just stir myself away from that. I'm trying to get away from it. I'm trying to get away from it. But it's hard to get away from something that's in your face. The other day, man, I was watching the BET Awards. You know, I watch it almost every year, bro. It's something cool. I watch, you know, my, one of my favorite performers performed on there before. Bryson Tilly, he's one of my favorite performers. You know, he doing his thing. And ever since then, I've been kind of, you know, watching it, you know. Tell me why this year I was watching the BET Awards. I'm a black guy. I'm a black man in this world, man. I like black entertainment. So I decided to tune in. And tell me why this year when I was watching the BET Awards, all I saw was ass shaking. That's all I saw, like ass cheeks jiggling. Now, to the normal person, they'll probably be like, damn, that shit look good. <laughs> to the normal motherfucker. But for me, I'm like, damn, this shit is making me. Why? why? Just why? Just why? Like, I just don't understand why everything has to be so sexualized. I just don't understand. You got to understand, bro. And I'm, to my black man in the comment sections, bro, say what's up. This goes for everybody, though. Don't get me wrong, but I'm black myself, and it, and it really, really hits home when I talk about it. Because, you know, I'm a black man, and I love black women. And a lot of, a lot of black families, a lot of black homes are, are broken, unfortunately. Unfortunately, this is the truth, man. A lot of black homes are broken. And a lot of, you know... You know, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of, you know, black girls, black boys end up finding an outlet for somebody to, you know, to look up to. And usually when they looking for somebody to look up to, they 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 looking up to some of these celebrities, some of these high status people. And why in the black community does all these people that are young girls look up to and, and the boys ain't safe. We're not safe either. But the younger they 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 the ice spice the the Megan Thee Stallion the the glow Rilla, the sexy red like it's getting bad y'all I'm not gonna lie and it's only getting worse it's only getting worse all these women that I just named they glorify sexualization they glorify that shit and what do you think is gonna happen to the people that look up to them it's gonna get worse I was scrolling on the internet the other day and I found this video. It's 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 shocking. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm finna play it right here. It's shocking. Like, come on, now. like I'm playing a video. I, obviously, I I can't see the video. But are you seeing what I'm seeing right here? Like, look at this. Look at this shit. Like, what is that? Like, what is what what is going on, y'all? What is going on with the world? What is going on right now? Like, am I the only person that's? I can't be the only person, y'all. Bro, that's like saying you don't want to eat chicken no more, right? And everywhere you go, you see chicken. Everywhere you go, you see you see what you don't want. You see the things that you just, bro. You might just eat the chicken, bro. This is these are for my this that that analogy for, was for my niggas that relapse. Because I understand, bro. I haven't relapsed myself, but I understand why people relapse. I understand because everything is in your face, sexual, bro. Sexualization is the wave. It never used to be like that. Women are making OnlyFans for five dollars a month, getting paid, like promoting that, bro, getting fucked for five dollars a month for everybody to see. All you gotta do is pay five dollars. Five dollar, I can, bro. I got, like, bro. They make it so easy to see these things. They make it so easy, and then shit, porn is free, bro. Some of the websites are free. in Texas. They banned it. I live in Texas. Don't tell me how I know, but I know they banned it. <laughs> you can't you can't just go to Pornhub in Texas, bro. It's banned. But bro, it's 
the sexualization of this world is getting out of control. This is why I'm trying to desexualize my brain. This is why I'm retaining my semen to 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 turn that sexual energy into creative energy, bro. I'm trying to do something else. I'm not I'm not on that wave. I'm not on that. I'm not with that. I want to be better than that. I want to do better than that. I'm greater than that. And I'm just, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get away from that. But every time I open my phone, I see something sexual and and bro, it makes it ten times harder. Ten times harder. Like imagine you was trying to be a vegetarian and you just started. And you go home, it's fried chicken. You go out to your favorite restaurant, what they featuring? Fried chicken. Like it's everywhere. You work at a job that sells fried chicken. Like, bro, it's it's hard to get away from it. It's everywhere. You might just indulge in it. You might just eat one. Like, I just want to be great in this world. But this world, is it, it don't want you to be great. You got to go against the grain to be great. You got to do things people aren't willing to do to be great. And, bro, it... it they 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 don't make it easy for you. They make it even. They make it so hard. They make it so fucking hard. Like women nowadays, when they go outside, they literally wear nothing. Like little to nothing booty shorts that go up to the to <sighs> titties out. No no bra. Fuck the bra. I don't. Hey, I, I I I don't mind that. Don't get me wrong, but it just makes it harder for me. Like I love women. Don't get me wrong. I I, I love I love that shit, but. It's not good for what I'm trying to do. It's not good for, for what I'm aiming for. I'm trying to desexualize my brain. It only sexualizes my brain. That's all it does. I, I can't, I can't, bro, it's, it makes it 10 times harder. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm six months into this retaining my semen shit. And I have, you know, come to, a, I come to a point to where my brain is somewhat desexualized. I'm not going to lie. I see things I don't, I don't get stimulated by it no more. I was on, I was on, I was, shit, I was on, what's this at, World Star or some shit like that, and I saw this, this, this video, this bit, with a fat ass shaking her ass, and my dick didn't even tickle, not one time. I was proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that helps me realize, okay, my brain is desexualizing, because old me, dick would have been hard, would have been in the tub, be my meat. That would have been the old me. But I'm trying to break out of that. A lot of us, man, we beat our meats every day, because it's in our face. Like anything, you, you go on Instagram, you see bitches taking pictures, ass sh ass showing. You go on TikTok, you see bitches literally doing, sh bro. What's that What's that one trend where, you know what I'm saying, like they'll be doing something and then a, a quick little picture come up and they, you know what I'm saying, they butt ass naked. And then, you know, you, 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 you been on TikTok, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like, bro, it, it's everywhere. And it's like, bro, you have to, you really have to just disconnect. In order to, you know, really, really desexualize your brain. I had to stop having sex. I had to really, really just lock in on other... I had to really, really lock in to get to a point to where my brain is somewhat dis desexualized. I had to get off my phone. I had to stop having sex as in a hole. Bro, I, I'm taking this very, very serious. I want to be great. And, and the world is really trying... They, The world don't want you to be great. No disrespect to my niggas that's sus out there, but the niggas wearing the nail polish, the niggas, you know what I'm saying? The uh, every my favorite TV show, I be watching this TV show called The Boys on Prime on Prime Video, bro. They got shit boy on boy relationships, shit girl on girl relationships. Like this is like the thing they promoting now. Nothing wrong with the gay community. Nothing wrong on this side. You know what I'm saying? I'm. Just just stay on that side. Nothing wrong with y'all, though. But why, why is it everywhere? I got to understand, man. This world is not on your team. It's not on your team. This world wants to keep you at a low vibration. This world want to keep you sexual. They, they want to they wanna promote sexualization in this world. They don't want you to overcome that. They don't, they don't want you to get better than that cuz they know if you overcome sexual if you desexualize your brain, you are a bad man in a good way. You you are a bad guy. You are a man that 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 has a lot a lot of discipline. And they know a man with a lot a lot of discipline is a man that's very very dangerous. 
in a good way. You're very, very dangerous. You are capable of so much. Oh, literally by desexualizing your brain. Your mind is clear. Your mind, your thoughts come more clear. You, you, you're, bro, everything just comes. Everything just clicks. But it, when they keep you at that place to where everything, they push all the sexual lies shit to you and everything is just turning you on and you beating your meat. You smashing girls that you don't really like just for the feeling of it. You have a rotation of five, six different girls. Yeah, STD after STD. Bro, not saying, not praying. Nobody gets an STD. Not praying. But the fact that guys... Shit, they want six. Nothing wrong with the guys. No, nothing wrong with having a rotation. Don't get me wrong. I've had one. Nothing wrong with that. But the fact that that is the cool thing to do nowadays, instead of you know what I'm saying, finding a genuine girl, locking in. You know what I'm saying. Traditionally, because I was bro I was born. My parents. My dad is sixty. My mom is fifty. I'm twenty three. I was. I was a. I was a young bro. My parents had me at a at an older age. They. My parents are traditional. I'm a traditional man. And most of the girls I deal with nowadays, they aren't traditional. When I told, when I told, when, when, anytime I tell a girl, hey, you know, anytime I, I, I believe with my traditional values, a woman looks at me like I'm crazy nowadays. Like, ain't that some, ain't that weird? Like, you know, I lead traditionally and they look at me like I'm a sucker or some shit. Like, they look at me like, okay, I, I pull your chair out when you sit at the table. I'm a respectable, I'm a respectable man. I open your car door. I do that because I want to do it. I was taught that. But, like, I don't understand. Like, I just don't, bro. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't. You know, it is what it is. Though. I'm going to do me at the end of the day. I can't complain about it. All I have to do is adapt. I can complain. I can cry. I, I, all, I have to, all I can do is adapt. That's all, I can, that's all we can do. We just have to adapt. You get what I'm saying? That's This is one of the main reasons why I'm single this year. This is one of the main reasons why I push the agenda for... Uh, if you're trying to be great in this world, you might just have to be single, bro. If you're trying to if you're trying to actually be great... And the reason why you need to be single because, bro, being in a modern relationship nowadays, bro, with all the, the, the things that people look up to, the people that people look up to, you know, you got girls... Oh, I, Ruby Rose. Y'all remember when I said this? Ruby Rose... Oh, if a guy starts liking me, I just don't like him no more. You, you, what do you think that does to the girls that look up to her? As soon as a guy start liking her, she not gonna like him no more. You got girls. What's that one song? Oh, I, I ain't listening to no man. This that, bro. Men, we are the leaders. If if nobody's listening to us, we have nothing to lead. So I'm just gonna be single. And I'm okay with that because I'm on my ground. I'm locked in. I'd rather, I'd rather it be like this. We live in a day and age to where, bro, in order to improve, you might just have to be single, bro. For us men. Ladies too, man. I'm not going to lie. Ladies, like, I'm not going to say men are angels because we're not. We have our problems. We have, we have things that we need to work on. And, you know, some of us, we're working on that. Some of us, we're trying to be better, but... We need, we need, bro, we need our counterparts to be better too. Not just us. We improving as men. We trying to be mentally, physically, spiritually better. And we need our counterpart too. But our shit, counterparts don't want to listen to us. Especially in the black community. I don't know about the other, I'm black. If you can't tell. My people, they just, they just don't want to listen to other black men. And it's like, you know. At that point, I, I I don't want to date outside my race. Not there's nothing wrong with it. Like I don't mind it. I will do it if I shit. I find I find other girls attractive too. I don't just find black women attractive. And, but I just I just like black women, bro. But I will date outside my race if I have to. If it gets that bad. But other races, they they not safe either. They not great. The whole world, bro. I ain't gonna lie to. We 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 just gotta get better. I'm getting better. I'm just I'm just gonna stay in my lane. I'm just gonna stay on track. Fuck all that other shit. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bigger symbols of Nace.